Hi, this is a tutorial video on using GIMP, the image manipulation program. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over just basics on manipulating brightness, contrast, and color in a photo. Now, let's say we open a photo, and um, as you can see here, we have a photo. And what's wrong with this photo? Well, besides my son coming out of what looks to be a pile of dung, it looks a little bright. Maybe could use a little color adjustment. And this isn't uh, a, a photo that has a lot of problems, but once we make adjustments, you'll see that we can make a big difference in how this photo looks. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the brightness and the contrast of this. And to do this, you want to go up here to the menu where it says Colors. You're going to click that and you're going to see an option here that says Brightness Contrast. So we're going to click that. It's going to open uh, a tool here. And this will allow us to change the brightness and the contrast. And what I like to do is I like to change my contrast first before I change the brightness. You don't have to do it that way, but just the way I do it. So I'm going to go down on contrast and look what happens. Everything starts looking more gray. Why? Because contrast, what it does is it gives you, contrast is the difference between white and black or bright colors or dark colors. So if I lower the contrast, then there's less of a difference. Everything starts becoming gray. We want there to be an actual difference between our lights and our darks. So I'm going to go up a little bit, and you just kind of eyeball it. There's no exact science to this sometimes. Some people might like a little more contrast. Some people might like a little less. I'm, uh, I'm going to stay, say this is about where I want to be. Now I'm going to deal with the brightness. You can see everything's a little bit too bright um, right behind him there. So we're going to lower that brightness a little bit. And I'm just going to lower it and eyeball it until I can see things in the background a little bit better. And then I'm going to stop. We don't want to go too far and make things too dark. Okay, so I'm happy where I'm at with my brightness and contrast. And I'm going to click OK here. That'll close that window and save what we've done. We're going to go to Colors again, and we're going to go to Levels. Now we're going to use a tool here in Levels that in some program is called White Balance. And we're going to balance um, a color in this photo. Now what White Balance does is we tell the program what in this photo is supposed to be true white or as close to true white as we can get. Now I really don't have anything in this photo that can be considered true white. A lot of tans, grays, reds, nothing I can tell the program this should be white. I already know my son's jacket and I know that this isn't white here. So I'm not going to use that option. I'm going to use this other option that we have called pick a gray point because I know that there's something in this uh, photo that actually is gray and that's part of my son's jacket. So I'm going to choose that pick a gray point. Now if you have some items in your photo that you know should be black, well you could use the black point. Pick a black point uh, tool. But we're going to use the gray point and we're going to try it on part of his jacket and let's see what happens. So I used it on part of the jacket and things look a little too brown for me. Well, no problem. I can choose another part of the jacket that isn't the same grayness that I chose before. And it makes a slight adjustment. And I kind of like that adjustment that it make, made. It uh, looks a little more true to what uh, I'm looking for in this photo. So once you get to the point where you're like, you know what, I like the colors in this photo. Uh, I and I admit this photo is not perfect. Everything's a little too bright in the background and everything. But this is just for um, uh, the tutorial sake. We're just going to try to adjust the best we can. Sometimes that's all you can do. 
So we're going to go to OK, and that looks pretty good. Now, if you don't remember how the photo was before, I'll bring it up. Here's the photo earlier. Before we adjusted it, you can see everything looks a little washed out. Uh, the, there's no true colors. The green looks green, but if we compare it to what we did to the photo, that looks actually a little more true to what uh, reality is like. And if we move over a little bit more, we can see the reds look a little more red, the browns look a little more brown. It looks more, uh, the flesh tones look a lot better. You can see here everything looks a lot cloudier. So we've made some good adjustments. And this is a very basic way of uh, starting out, but that's how we're going to do it. We're going to start out very basically, and even with the basic adjustments we did, this looks much better than what it was. It was um, very washed out, very light, and uh, we actually put some actual color into that uh, without making it look weird. So that was our first tutorial. In the next ones, we're going to be delving into further these tools, these adjustments we can make, but um, we can actually do a lot with what we've learned today colors, brightness contrast adjustment, then if you'd like to tell the program what is white, what is gray, what is black, you're going to go to levels here in the colors. Okay. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.